Good afternoon. This is Eric Wilson. It is Monday, July 6th, and at 3.20 in the afternoon, we have three areas uh, out in the Atlantic. One is Edward. We don't have to worry about that making landfall. This one we have to keep an eye on as it approaches the Lesser Antilles. And a system which is landlocked doesn't leave land for the next three days, may or may not. And even if it does, it's going to become an East Coast flooding concern for the entire eastern seaboard. What am I talking about? Well, as you scroll down, you'll find all of the things that we're watching. And this just doesn't make a lot of sense. See how all the wind barbs are kind of circling around that area of low pressure? It's very hard to see. So a lot of times, uh, an easier way to see it is see, look for the counterclockwise rotation of the clouds. If you find the counterclockwise rotation of the clouds, you will find the center of low pressure sometimes, most of the time. When you've got so many stations on the ground, like we do in this case, you've got a really gr uh, greater amount of data, and that shows you exactly where this system, this rainmaker is. And rainmaker it is. It rained Saturday in Florida, northern Florida. It rained all Friday, Saturday, and parts of Sunday into parts of Monday. This is a Monday recording, and you can see northern Florida still getting hit. There's Jacksonville. There's Orlando. Okay, just to give you an idea that we have been getting hit with uh, constant rain for four days in a row, and this will not move very far. Its current location is right here. Let's take another look at it. Its current location is in southern Georgia, so where does it go? If southern Georgia is where it's being picked up, Tuesday, it will be still in Georgia. It will be in South Carolina, but barely on Wednesday. Once Wednesday turns into Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, it could very well exit out into the Atlantic. And if it does, it'll be an area of concern whether or not we're going to name it or not. But I wouldn't be concerned about the name. I'd be concerned more about the rain. And I didn't mean to make that rhyme. <laughs> it is the path of this entire system that has us concerned with its possibility of two things. One, becoming subtropical and becoming named. The, number two is that its slow movement means flooding. You start getting into the Appalachian Mountains. You start getting into the rivers. Uh, anyone living near a river or a creek in Georgia, and the creeks will rise. We are looking at South Carolina, North Carolina, parts of Virginia, uh, you start getting into Delmarva area later in the week and in into the weekend. So if you have weekend plans and you're living up in the Boston, Massachusetts area, you're living close to the anywhere along the eastern seaboard, you are looking at a lot of rain. If we're getting rain right now, the system's right here, and we're getting rain as far south as Orlando, Florida, you get the idea of just how big this system is. So take that area and move it along this path and you can kind of see whether or not it goes out into the Atlantic or it stays landlocked, it is an East Coast flooding problem. So my name is Eric Wilson. This uh, website is ericwilsonweathersource.com and it's Monday afternoon. So stay, stay, stay safe, stay drive and do not drive over water you're not sure of. Have a great day.